Are your apps weak or do you only think your apps are weak? Well, in this video we find out how to spot weak apps and what you can do about it. First you need to know that there are only a few exercises that exclusively focus on your apps without involving other muscles too much. Many of the so-called app exercises are more compound movements that train many muscles at once instead of the apps only. Here are a few examples. First, leg raises. If you can't do leg raises with straight legs and if you can't raise them that high, it doesn't mean that your abs are your weak point. Instead it could be the result of two tight hamstrings in combination with a too weak rectus femoris. Especially if you feel the burn more in your quads or even get cramps in this muscle, think about limited mobility and flexibility first instead of weak abs. To eliminate the straight leg problem, you could do knee raises. But here you also have to make sure that you focus on your abs instead of your hip flexors in the first place. The hip flexor involvement could be the next thing that's holding you back. If you feel your hips in the first place, you probably work more with your hip flexors instead of your abs. A very clear sign for weak abs and dominant hip flexors is an anterior pelvic tilt and an arched lower back. To shift the focus back to your abs, make sure to always tilt your pelvis backwards as much as possible. Of course the hip flexor problem could not only occur in bent, but also in any form of straight leg movements. Working with the strength of your hip flexors is not only ineffective for your abs, but can also lead to lower back injuries. You will need abdominal stabilization to protect your lower spine, especially in exercises with a very long lever. You can apply the same rule for other exercises like planks, rollouts and the dragon flag. Another thing you should consider is that these exercises heavily rely on other muscles as well. So even if you can do these movements with the correct spine and back position, it could easily happen that other muscles fatigue first. So if you feel more pressure around your shoulders, chest, back and arms, don't blame it on your abs. Oh yes, and don't forget your hip flexors. Even if your pelvis and lower back position is on point, your hip flexors still contribute a lot of strength to these movements. The distribution of strength between your abs and other muscles gets even more imbalanced when we take a look at calisthenic skills like planches and levers. Here it's mostly about lat and shoulder strength. To isolate your abs as much as possible, we suggest the candle raise. With your legs in a vertical line, you got no long lever and with that nearly no hip flexor activation. The goal is to raise your legs with the strength of your lower abs by tilting the pelvis backwards. This looks way easier than it is and therefore it's not optimal for beginners or people who have problems with their body awareness. If you have problems with your mobility, it's also possible to do the exercise with bent instead of straight legs. Another exercise we suggest is the hollow body crunch. It has the same benefit when it comes to the minimal hip flexor involvement, but is easier to do and you not only tilt your pelvis, but also raise your shoulder blades off the ground. So you aim for a maximum contraction between the muscle origin and insertion. This ensures a good mix between upper and lower rectus abdominis activity. Okay, now please don't think that these exercises are the only ones you should do. Leg raises, knee raises, planks and others are also very effective if done correctly. Try to see them more as compound movements instead of ab exercises. If you are fully aware of your weak points and know how you can work on them, there is no reason not to do these exercises. If you've caught yourself doing the mistakes mentioned in the video, try to correct them and you're on a good way to develop strong abs. If you want to avoid these and all other mistakes right from the beginning, we suggest to join our calisthenics online courses you can get at calimove.com. 
No matter if you want to train from home, build more muscle, learn calisthenic skills or get more mobile, we have you covered. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe and activate the notifications. My name is Alex and I see you in the next video.